what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below okay so let's see what's going on here let's see what's going on with this person at this time spirit fell on the ground i had to lift it up nightmare oh my gosh so whatever this situation has become it's almost like this dream has become an a, a nightmare here now we have psychic protection shield bad dreams so somebody could be having nightmares somebody could be having a lot of dreams somebody could be sending this your way i feel like definitely somebody is very protected though she got her spiritual beads in her hand um she ain't playing no game she ain't letting nothing fuck with her But it's almost like something that somebody had high hopes for or that something that somebody wanted really, really badly here it could have turned into a nightmare. With a five on there, there could be some conflict, um, some arguments. I feel like somebody here has definitely had an epiphany about this situation. And I'm also definitely feeling like somebody here has to really tap into their feminine side because this is something that's very difficult for somebody to do. It's very hard for somebody to tap into that soft feminine side of themselves. It's almost like a fighter or a survivor, somebody that's had to fight their entire life so they find it very difficult to tap into that softer side of themselves. I feel like the problem is that somebody does not have the consistency that the other person wants. Somebody's very inconsistent. And somebody, it's almost like somebody is having to strain. Somebody's having to find that discipline here. But the thing is, it's like when the two of you guys to get, are together, it's ecstasy. It's beautiful. It's bliss, okay? But it's almost like there's been some kind of rapture or some kind of issue that has come in between this because there is some conflict. It's almost like somebody's biggest dream has turned into a nightmare here. This person is having to discipline themselves from coming and fucking, fucking with you is what I'm seeing. Whoever this person is, they went towards something. This person got on their horse, they went towards something that they thought was going to be extremely happy. And it turned into their worst nightmare. An epiphany happened and now they're in their worst nightmare. And they're over here daydreaming about how happy they were with you. And they're having to discipline themselves from coming towards you. Now this could have to do with the consuming family, pressuring from peers. So this could be like, you know, they're disciplining themselves from coming towards you because they're friends, because of what people are saying, because of family, because of family issues, whatever this person is. And what's crazy is this card says immortal. Okay. So what it is, is this love never dies. No matter what comes in between this love, it's never going to fucking die here. Okay. And so the thing is, this person rode off thinking they were going to be happy elsewhere. And then they had this epiphany that their happiness truly lies within you. And they're having to discipline themselves. They're having to discipline themselves from coming towards you. But this could have a lot to do with family. Friends, etc. Let's see, Spirit. What else happened here? I want these. It 
So what happened is somebody went somewhere else and I feel like this person lied on you. This person could have lied on you to these people that they consider family, friends, this other person that they ran towards. They could have lied on you to all these people. And because they were lying, now this shit has taken a toll on them. They know that they were full of shit. They know they made it out like you were somebody that you weren't. This person could be broke as hell having to ride the subway, okay? And it's like they're going to come in and they're going to say, I'm sorry. They're going to try to make amends. They're going to have a lot of excuses for why they moved the way they did. And they're going to apologize. They are going to want to make amends for running towards this other situation. Choosing this other situation. Thinking it was going to bring them happiness when they instantly regretted it. And what they did when they went towards this other situation is lied on you. Lied about you. Made it out like you were the worst person in the world. Like you did all of this, that, and the other when you really didn't do shit. Okay? And it was all for them to feel better about themselves for what they did and what they put you through. This person, they were just lying on you to this other person to make themselves look good. Yeah, see, they're now they have to sit back and try to hide how they feel about you with this camouflage. And their perception, the way they looked at you before has definitely changed person creates a lot of chaos and confusion everywhere they go it's like it follows them this person stays in a state of confusion because they're out of lack and all they did by going back to this other situation is create create chaos in this other person's life it's like they try to provoke this person they hit a stone wall they hit this brick wall you know it's like talking to a brick wall when it comes to this person like they don't hear it they don't care this person causes a lot of chaos. They cause confusion. They're trying to provoke this other person. They thought the grass was going to be greener over there, but they didn't see your worth. Now they're ready to replot this course because they're feeling lost. Now they're regretting the decision that they've made. This person was focused on abundance. This person was focused on all the wrong things here. Get your motherfucking popcorn because the drama's about to go down. Whatever's going on, I'm telling you, these people are provoking each other. They're fighting back and forth. It's chaos. It's confusion. And the drama is about to go down. So get your popcorn and sit back because you're going to, it's going to, it's going to play out in front of you. I feel like it's going to give you a good laugh. And they're going to come in. They're going to apologize. Yeah, I feel like you. there's a lot of boundaries that you set with this person, though. And you feel like boundaries are really important. As much as you feel that intimacy with this person and you love this person, I feel like you find it very important to um, set up boundaries. And when you set up these boundaries, this here comes this person trying to blame you for things. Trying to blame you for why things went bad. Trying to blame you for why things went sour instead of taking accountability for their own actions. And the thing is, I feel like you have your bad days too. But you can actually admit, you can take accountabilities for your wrongs. You can say, hey, sometimes I know I can be a little crazy or whatever but this person they can they cannot take accountability for their actions they always make excuses they always blame you first aid kit broken heart i feel like this person is very broken hearted very sad okay you know this person has no character that you are this person's support system so they will be trying to reach out for your support and for you to uplift them again after look oh damn i meant to go at the bottom but look after they made the decision and choices to go this other way and what they did is they sabotaged this connection they self-defeated themselves by going this other way they sabotaged themselves they sabotaged you by making this decision and now they're trying to make a decision on which way to go they could be reaching out for that support look at how that hand is there trying to repair what they have broke here Yeah, I feel like they're definitely trying to offer this toxic-ass apple and see if you're going to bite. 
I feel like this is going to really put pressure on somebody and make somebody feel a lot of emotions here. But let's see. But Spirit wants you to know that this person could be trying to manipulate you too, okay? Because there's definitely this push-pull dynamic between the two of you guys also. And with this, you guys could go back and forth and butt heads in the same way. Yeah, see, they're just trying to play with people's emotions because they're running from confrontation with everybody else. Like, they get in a confrontation with you, they run, they manipulate this other person, they get in a confrontation with them, they come over here and try to manipulate this situation. And this dynamic is starting to get old. Them sending these uh, mixed signals going back and forth, that hot, cold energy is getting old. It's almost like blatantly disrespectful. They go back and forth and lie, to, lie on you to both these energies. They might even lie on this other person to you, trying to have you feel comfortable and then lying about the other you to the other person. What is the outcome of this, Spirit? How is this going to play out, Spirit, Ancestors, and Guides? unrevealed secrets so yeah they're definitely hiding something there's definitely something that you don't know they're unrevealed so they're still the past is in the past don't look back that's what spirit wants you to know to keep this person in the past they don't want you to look back because they are lying about something they are hiding of something there is something that they're not telling you or being completely true for full or honest about you know, this person made poor judgment. They went back to the past. They went back to something else. And that was definitely um, their problem. But now they want to come back to this twin flame and resurrect this connection. A lot of changes within this person. Yeah, this person, like, it's like, no, oh, wow, no more bad decisions. They want to plan for the future with you. They want to have, um, to move forward. They're sure about moving forward with you now. And so they're not going to be able to make any more deci bad decisions. They know their time is up when it comes to this connection. This person makes bad decisions. They always run back to their past. Yeah, this person's ready to surrender to this connection and try to make this work. Regardless of what they have to do, they're definitely ready to try to fix this. Yeah, choosing the right path for, for y'all finally. Because they, they weren't just thinking about you. I mean, they were only thinking about them. They weren't thinking about the both of you. And then they go back and forth. They you they lack judgment. They put their energy out in the wrong places. But now they're ready uh, to get back on this path with you and try to fix this. They want to bring this back to life. They want to fix this connection. But there's definitely something that they're hiding that they're not telling. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Say hi to Dallas. He's always trying to get in the damn frame. Say hey, Dallas. Say peace out. Peace. Oh, here he goes to purring. Like, yeah, mom, touch me. Touch me. <laughs> touch me, mom. Touch me. Anywho, I love you guys. Until next time, my loves. Peace.